What's happening, people? Welcome to the Altitude Artist Lounge. I'm Possum here with special guest MXPX. One, two, three, go! Always into trouble with authority! Believe it or not, MXPX have been rocking stages and waving the punk rock flag since 1992. The band reached commercial success in the late 90s with their mega hit Chick Magnet. Well, he's a Chick Magnet if you know what I mean. MXPX left indie label tooth and nail for major label dreams and aspirations. But now they find themselves back in familiar territory. Okay, so you guys are back on tooth and nail. Um, why'd you decide to go back to Tooth & Nail after you know, doing the whole major label thing with A&M? You know, we're like the prodigal sons because we had left Tooth & Nail under really bad circumstances, weren't happy at all with our contracts, and the owner, Brandon, and us have you know, reconciled all of our differences. Um, so it's almost like uh, the divorce that got put back together again. I don't know. <laughs> A new album is called Secret Weapon, right? Absolutely. And you also reunited with your old producer, too. Yeah. So let's, right, let's talk about the new record. It's coming out July 17th, and uh, it's just it's just such just kind of a face melter of a record, really. It's just, it's like a step back into like the old days of MXPX and what, you know, we just love doing as a band, just playing, just bashing it out. and It rocks. Tons of fast stuff, you know. Just sounds huge. No piano ballads on this record. No, none. No lifting the cell phone. Not one. Not, not, not a one. single one. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. Do you consider you guys a Christian band? What do you think about that tag? Yes, we're Christians, but we don't really, we don't really use that as like our vehicle or our tool to get ourselves out there. Gotcha. Really, it's about a personal. It's it's personal for us, and in that aspect, it does come out in some of the music, but in a personal way, in a way that's real, not in a way that's like meant to like be a marketing tool or a you know press release. So, what kind of shenanigans goes on on a on a, on a Christian tooth and nail rock? <laughs> well, we can't talk about it yeah. apparently. <laughs> Although our drummer isn't going to be here tonight, but um, yeah, what's up? He uh, what's up he's, he's in yeah. rehab. Had a really bad. Match problem and I heard uh, about that. yeah yeah <laughs> I heard about that he it's sold all his drums it's, it's really sad just to clear the rumors he's having a, his wife's having a baby right yeah yeah Yuri's yeah. wife's right. having a baby we're gonna yeah. let it go like that but we, we can't do your boy like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. we couldn't <laughs> do him like that that's kind of hard it's all up to you take back the strong music to you set you free now so I hear you guys got given the key to the city where you're from, is this yeah, true? Yeah, Bremerton, Washington, the key what to the happened, city. What, how'd that happen? The city of Bremerton is doing a whole revitalization thing of the downtown area, and they wanted to use our song Move to Bremerton as part of their advertising and wanted us to do a big homecoming, like, hometown show. And I jokingly said one day, yeah, no problem, just give us the key to the city. And we got a call the next day, like, okay, you're getting the key to the city, what next? Boom. Yeah. Next time, maybe ask for something even better. Yeah. Like maybe the <laughs> yeah. keys to the local <laughs> bank. MXPX is currently headlining the 2007 Tooth & Nail Tour, which runs through June 11th. And you can catch an exclusive acoustic performance by MXPX in the Live at the Lounge folder of your Altitude menu. Dancing, you can't change the